Almost everyone I see on YouTube talking about Kanye's Super Bowl commercial has completely missed the point. They're focusing on the wrong stuff. And in so doing, they are misleading the entire marketing community. And this will have a hugely negative effect on our industry if left unchecked. So today I'm gonna to reveal to you the real reason Kanye spent seven million on the commercial spot, the truth behind why it actually did well, and the real lesson that we can learn from this, not the ignorant one that most marketers are peddling. So let's check out the clip. But first, imagine the scene. It's the middle of the big game, the whole world is watching, everyone's excited to see the big budget commercials from the industry giants fighting over the top spot for the most memorable commercial at the Super Bowl, and then this comes on. Hey y'all, this is Ye, and it's my commercial, and since we spent all the money on the commercial spot, we actually didn't spend any money on the actual commercial. But the idea is, I want you to go to yeezy.com, Y-E-E-Z, Y.com and I'm gonna write it at the bottom of the screen and I got some shoes and mm, that's, it. that's it. <laughs> I got some shoes and so that's great. it. So it's reported that Kanye and his team spent $7 million on that commercial spot and made just shy of $20 million in merch sales that day. Great return, great result. You're great success. There are four big lessons that we can learn from this ourselves, but first, I've got to address the thing that people are misunderstanding about this that is misleading people. So many entrepreneurs and marketers on social media have been pointing out that this must prove that stupid, simple videos shot on your iPhone can work just great to promote your business. So just get out there, grab your phone, don't plan it much, say what you want, and your business will be successful. Because Kanye did it. This is absolutely terrible advice. Think about how many ads you skip on YouTube or scroll past on Facebook and Instagram every single day. If you did not know who this man was, if he was a complete nobody, you'd never seen him before in your life, are you really telling me if that ad popped up on YouTube, you would be glued to the video, watch it to the end without skipping, type in the yeezy.com web address and go ahead and buy some stuff? Of course you wouldn't. The video was terrible. This ad was not successful because it was simple, shot on a phone, in the back of a dark cab. This was successful because it was Kanye, one of the biggest stars and personalities on the face of the planet. So what can we learn from this to help grow our own businesses? Well, there are four things, and I think the fourth is actually the most interesting and useful to us. Number one, build a loyal fan base and you can sell them almost anything. We are in a moment in time right now on social media where personal branding is a really big deal. If you are willing to be vulnerable, if you're willing to put yourself out there online and allow people people to gravitate towards you, people who resonate with you, your message, who you're about, your character, your personality, and you build a following off the back of that, you will have people within that following that are die-hard followers, and they will purchase products and they will buy into stuff, not necessarily because of the product, but because they're buying into you as the personality. Had you not heard of Kanye, didn't know who that bobbing head was in the back of that car, and had never heard of Yeezy.com before, you would not have gone there and purchased product. People went there because it was Kanye. Number two, and this is genius from Kanye and his team. It's one thing for Kanye to be known, but that was not the only reason this ad was successful. The second reason was because this ad was disruptive. It went in the complete opposite direction of all of the other commercials. I'm completely hypothesizing right now, but I wonder if Kanye and his team had gone into the effort of spending a couple mil producing a well-produced commercial, would it have had the same impact? Would it have blended in to the adverts from Verizon, from Nerds, from Hellman's mayonnaise, and perhaps it might have not done as well. It was disruptive, it stood out. I think his marketing team knew exactly what they were doing. They had the money to put into a commercial, but they had this idea to be disruptive instead. Number three, this leads to what we call in the marketing world, a pattern interrupt. If people are sat in the Super Bowl, they got their drink in hand, they got their chips that they're munching on, the adverts are coming up, they're not necessarily paying attention to the ads. What is going to get their attention is a pattern interrupt. Something happens that is different to what they're used to, that shakes up the visuals on the screen. And this is exactly what Kanye and his team did. 
you've got commercial after commercial after commercial that are visually impressive, but it's a very similar style. Suddenly, you have a selfie video, terrible quality, it's dark, Everyone in that arena is now paying attention to this ad because it's a pattern interrupt. And number four, knowingly or unknowingly, Kanye used a strategy called the humble brag. The humble brag is where you are in effect bragging about something that you have or something you're able to do, while at the same time presenting it in a way that makes you seem humble. He's in the back of a car. He's pointing out they've spent all their money on the commercial spot, therefore they don't have any money left for the actual commercial itself. We know this is not true. We know that Kanye's team probably could have put more money into the commercial, but Kanye is depositioning himself, making it sound like he spent all of his money on the commercial spot, doesn't have any left, so you really need to buy his stuff. But at the same time, we are impressed that he has spent seven million on that commercial spot, that there is a brag taking place, but it's been done in such a humble way that that person becomes likable and you're drawn towards them, and in this case, drawn to his website to buy product. So in conclusion, no, this ad spot was not successful because it was shot simply and terribly on an iPhone. Do not follow the advice from people online telling you that this now gives you permission to shoot crappy videos to promote your business. That's terrible, terrible advice. This was successful because it was Kanye, because he had a loyal following, because he had a pattern interrupt and was disruptive in the marketplace, and because of the humble brag.